Marvelous Muses. How we doing, guys? So, tonight we're going to do the trinket dish mold from BB Crafts. Uh, I will have the link to this in the description box as well as a discount code for, a discount code for BB Crafts. 10%, I believe. Um, and what we're going to do with this one tonight is I'm going to take this gold powder here I got um, from Timu. I'm going to take some of that and we're going to put it down in this tip. And then I'm going to mix up some red mica powder. This pretty red that I've got here. Go on. There we go. Um, this pretty red that I've got here. And uh, I'm going to mix some of my gold. A little bit of my gold glitter in with it. I don't know that it's going to show a whole lot. But it might give us some gold specks. And we're going to pour the whole thing gold. Then I'm going to come. I mean the whole thing in red. Then I'm going to come back at the end. And I'm going to use my little diamond. Um. Diamond painting, what are they called? I can't think of what they're called. My brain not working right at the moment. Anyway, rondelles, no. Anyway, the little gold gems, stones, diamonds, whatever you want to call them, and we're gonna decorate the decorate it when it's all done. So we're gonna start out here. Get my brush. We are gonna do the. We're going to take just the gold here. We don't want that in the other end. Alright. Hard to see down in here what you're doing. to see what you're doing in here. I do want to do just this little edge right here as well. This little lip edge here. Oh, not there. I'm just about to wipe it off here. But we are doing just a little edge there. I can see a spot here I missed. It looks pretty cool. All right. So we're going to take. of our little q-tip things here. I'm going to spray some alcohol on it. Go off. There we go. And up here and we're going to go around this outside edge here with it. And I'm fine if there's a little bit of gold in it. I just don't want any clear like lines of gold. Because I'm going to put gold powder in. I mean gold sparkle in with my mica. So it's a pretty good size mold, but it's got a big center into it. So I'm going to mix up 8 ounces of resin. Like I said, we're going to add this beautiful red to it. And then we're going to add some gold sparkle. So I'm going to get my gloves on, mix up the resin, and we'll be right back. Alright guys? 
See you in a minute. So was I not recording, guys? Okay, so <laughs> I don't know if I recorded that or not, but I colored this in gold down here in this inside. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if I recorded it or not, guys. I hope I did. So we're doing this red, and then this is going to be gold with the gold glitter. I'm going to put you guys on pause, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. So we're going to put the powder in. Actually, let's do this first. Wasted if I can't see it. It's actually quite a bit. Yeah, that's actually a lot. That's actually quite a lot. Well, maybe it'll make it over. See it through the red. Like so, it throughout the red. All right. This red for mica powder is probably the prettiest red I've ever used. Um, I think it was Wendy over on Toonfish Crafts about a year ago did a test of different mica powders to see which one was the closest to a true red. And this brand was the brand she found. It's not a pinkish red. It's not a purpley red. It's a red. It's a beautiful red. Get it all mixed in here. Yeah, it's a very pretty red. another spoonful in there. Alright. That's a pretty color. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful color. Alright. I want to make sure, because it looked like there was a spot here that wasn't covered by my powder. Yeah, I see it here. actually have a couple little spots in there that aren't covered. Okay, so that one is now. I think that worked. I'm probably going to go around this edge anyway with some gemstones, so. Alright, let's stir it again. into into that centerpiece here. that okay okay and we're gonna 
pour this. I'm going to spray some alcohol down in here. Why is my alcohol not working? The sprayer's quitting on me here. There it goes. Oh, turn it back off. There we go. I put a touch light in that hanging lantern thing. I love it, but whenever I move, it's on my table, so anytime I touch anywhere near it, it comes on. And it's actually one of the lights that came in uh, the Let's Resin light bulb kits. It had these little round lights that are touch lights. Well, how about this? Guys, it's pretty close. It took Make sure it's down in here. It looks like there's bubbles down in here. bubbles down and around this edge. Okay, why is it not? Hang on. Bring this over here to the edge. I'm going to try to squeeze some of these bubbles here. Understand. I can't see it in here. And it's bugging me. I see white around the edge. Same way right here. But I don't see it here. See, that's what. Okay. I don't know. Kind of worried about this mold. <laughs> kind of worried about it. I don't know. We'll figure it out, I guess. Alright, what do I want to do? I got some red left here. What do I want to make with the red? I did the little same little thing I did last night with the with the uh, sunflower, the little jar mold. I did that, and what I'll do is I'll next time I have some extra resin, I'll fill it up. Maybe we'll do a like a red and a green, or a red and a gold, or a red and a white something. We'll do maybe candy cane or something. We'll figure that out. 
later. All right. Well, I guess we're going to see what happens. doesn't look completely straight. It looks weird. Like that needs to go up, I feel like. Maybe. All right, we'll be back when it's done. Oh, my marvelous music. So we are back. So I'm a little worried. I don't know how this turned out down here at the bottom. We're going to pull it out and find out. I could see down there. It looked like there was no resin in it. I'm going to have to bring this up to me, probably, because this is, like, very fluted. Yeah, that's a word, fluted. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Okay, I may have to have Cody help me on this when he gets home. I don't think I can get it out. Let me try again. but I'm getting there. Goodness gracious. Ah. Yeah, I may have to have Cody help me on that one. These at work right now, so Let's see if I can get this one out. I should be able to. Oh yeah, that came out. Oh, that's pretty. That turned out really nice. Here we go. Oh, very pretty. Oh, and you can see the red. I mean, the gold sparkle in the red. Nice. Alright, I'll have Cody help me get this out. And, uh, 
I will be back when we get it out. And maybe it turned out. I don't know. I just had such an issue with these. I couldn't see down in here. It looks like it didn't get any resin in there. But when I look at it here, it looks like it did just fine. So I don't know. We'll see. So we'll be back when I get this out, guys. Hey, guys. I got it out. Holy smokes. Took me a minute. I still haven't got the inside out yet, but... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I just had to get it up here closer to me so I could do it. And wasn't stressed trying to do it. I forgot to do it while I was on camera. So. Alright, well, look at this, guys. It actually, everything worked. I was freaking out for no reason. Oh, my goodness. I was looking here to see. I don't have any bubbles in here. I don't have any. Everything's there where it's supposed to be. Turn the flash on. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. That's beautiful. So I'm going to let this sit for just a little while. Because these edges right here are still just a little bit soft. We're going to let this sit for a couple hours. I'll come out here and we're going to do some embellishing with the gold uh, gems. And put some of those on here and see how they look. I think this is a beautiful jar. Very pretty jar. Wow. And that turned out better than I thought it was going to. I was because I was having a hard time. But you can't see down in there to see what you're doing to it. I mean, that's you really can't see it unless you look on this side. And then if you look on this side, you're dumping powder all over here. So I was trying to be careful and look and raise it up, and it didn't look like I got it all. So I redid it. But yeah, it turned out really good. Wow. And I am going to go around this little side right here. Because there's a couple spots right on here where, right there, where I don't have enough powder. So we're going to go around out with some gems. And then, like I said, around here, I don't know yet exactly where. Probably down around the bottom here. And I don't know if I'm going to go up the top or if I'm just going to do, how I'm going to do it yet. But I'm gonna, we're going to decorate it up here and see how she looks. Look at the pretty gold down in there. So the gold sparkle showed up really pretty in this mica. Can you see it on the edges here? Gold sparkle in there. That's pretty. Yeah, that turned out great. Alright guys, we'll be back in a couple hours and... Uh, yeah. I'll see you in a couple hours and we'll come back and I'll put you guys on fast forward. Do I do the... Some of the, I'll show you some of it in real time, but then we'll do fast forward so you don't have to watch me do an hour's worth of decorating. But i got to have some more coffee. It's early in the morning. Uh, so i got to have more coffee before I come out here and do that. I will see you guys in just a little bit. Bye. Hey, guys. Okay, we are back. Let me put this on here. There we go. So, I, I've done a few of them on here because I didn't want to keep you guys all day on it. But we're gonna, I'm going to do a few with you guys. So what I did around this edge here, I was going to do some of the um, little diamond things. And I thought, well, I've got this really cool, the really cool tape. The gold tape that I use on my tumblers. And it's it was like the perfect size to go around here. So I put it on there. Um, I'm going to burnish it on really, really good. But that's what I've done so far to that. Uh, I am going to go in here, and I think I'm going to add little gems here in this little, these little pieces here. I pulled my fingernail polish off when I was trying to demold that. It just, my, the whole nail polish come right off that nail. I don't understand. Uh, but what I've done so far on this was, I put one here and one here, and I've done it about, probably, yeah two-thirds of the way around so I figure I'll do these with you guys here 
Uh, they're just a little diamond painting diamonds. And then I've got a wax pencil here. Uh, I took the tip out of my bottle here. And it's working, but I tried to clean the tip. I put it in some alcohol and was trying to clean it. And when I went to put it back in, it shot out somewhere. And, yeah, I can't find it. <laughs> I'm like, it's too small. I can't find it anywhere. So, uh, I put a toothpick in it to keep it from drying up. So, we're just going to put a little dab here. A little dab right here. There we go. That's what we're doing there. These are the bigger ones. I have some smaller ones. And I kind of want to put a few on there, but I'm kind of like, I don't want to overdo it either. There we go. So I have that all the way around. I might go in here and do a small one. And then here, do I want to do small ones or big ones? Let me see here. I'm going to pull a big one out and just see what it looks like right here. That's actually not too bad. I think I'll do the bigger ones there. Alright, we're going to sit this over here to the side for a second. Sit it off to the side for a second here. three at a time here.
just like that, all the way around. So I'm going to put you guys on pause. I'm going to finish going around this with these, and then I'll come back when we get ready to do the smaller ones in between on the next one. And uh, we'll see if we're going to do anything else to it. And if so, what we're going to do. And I'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back. So, I don't think I'm going to do the small ones because I don't have any small. I thought I had small gold because I found these. But these are actually clear. Like diamonds on the front and gold on the back. These are iridescent on the front and gold on the back. And I've tried both of them. This is the same way. These are diamond on the front and gold in the back. So the only ones I actually have that are gold on the front are these bigger ones. And I don't want to do big ones all the way around it. So I think I'm just going to not do any more on it there. I am going to take a gold pin and I'm going to go around the top edge of this. Just because I kind of think it needs it. I'm trying to decide if I want to go thick around here or if I just want to go around this. Like right here. There we go. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to do up here too. I think I kind of do. I don't know. This on here, let me see. I just think it needs it. Actually, I don't think it needs it. I like it on the edge. I was going to do all the way around wide, but I don't think it needs it. I think that just run the edge it's subtle enough it looks good so I'm gonna put this toothpick in here to keep this from drying up so this is a jar guys from BB crafts uh, it's a pretty jar there's so many ways you could do it too you could bling this thing out all different kinds of ways you could do different colors I'm just, I'm on a gold kick right now. I don't know. Uh, I normally like gold better than silver. Oh, and I put three, three little diamonds here on the top of this. So, I was going to do one big one, but I didn't have a big one that was gold, so. But yeah, so that's it. Uh, I'm on a gold kick lately, so this is, <laughs> this is why everything's gold. Um. I did this in gold. This is cool now because it's touch. I have a touch light in it. And it works really good. And those last quite a while. I made one for my neighbor in a one of the long, skinny, almost looks like a fish tank bulb. Like a long not the regular light bulb it's more of like a not even an edison i don't know what you call it but it's more of a about that long and uh those lights those molds that i got from let's resin came with little round lights 
has nothing to do with this video, but I'll show you. These little lights right here. And you put them into the top of the uh, light bulb part. So when you touch them, they come on and off. But they work, whether it's in there or not. And if you put it in here, I put it in, I made her a light bulb one, and it, she's had it for over a year, and it still works. But the nice thing about it is, and on those, you normally you glue the cap on, so then you can't change the bulb. But what I did was I actually put little screws, I drilled a hole in the side, and I put two little screws in there to hold it on, so it holds the top of the light bulb on. If you have one of the light bulb molds, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it holds the silver cap on without having to glue it. And then you can change this if you ever need to change it. But I really like this. I like the fact you can light it up just by touching it. Here we go. Yeah, I've had it sitting in the background and I periodically I'll touch it and I'll be like, okay, i got to turn it off. But yeah, this is that awesome mold, guys. I will leave the link to this mold in the description box below. Uh, BBCrafts.com. I do have a discount code also. Uh, you get two of these molds, guys. They send you two in the package. They do that in a lot of their molds. They send you multiples of the molds. Which, like I said, I like it if you do a mold a lot. You know, eventually, it loses its shine. They all do. Just, it's natural. I don't care how well you take care of them. If you make that mold... 20 times, you're going to lose your shine. And, uh, that's the nice thing about these, uh, with them sending you multiples. So now, when I've used this one, because I plan on using this one quite a bit, uh, I'll be making it in different colors, different colored diamonds on it, different things on there, and, uh, when I, when it starts to dull down, I have a whole nother mold. So, Alright guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, you know, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Alright. <laughs> I hope everyone has a wonderful night. Hope your resin cure is beautiful. Your craft projects turn out amazing. Hope you're all happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. And I'll post a picture at the end. I'm going to try to start posting pictures of them at the end, guys. Um, and, uh... After the first of the year, I'm actually going to look into finding a a way to sell my items, whether it's on Etsy or on uh, eBay, or if I just get a website and just do it that way. I don't know yet. I haven't decided, but I'm going to work on that because I've got a lot of stuff I just got to get rid of, guys. I got, I, much as I would love to keep all of this, I mean, I've got plates and bowls and cups and jars and... Uh, I have a craft show first week in December, uh, but I have got so much right now made up for I don't even have to really worry. I've got tumblers. I've got Christmas tumblers, regular tumblers. Um, I've got pretty much every kind of resin piece you can imagine, jars, vases, and I'll be taking some of this probably. Uh, this will probably go... Um, but yeah, that's my plan anyway, so I hope you guys have a wonderful night. I hope your resin cure is beautiful, your craft projects turn out amazing. I hope you're all happy, healthy, safe, and blessed, and I will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.